Hey everyone, so in today's video, I wanted to jump on here and give you guys like a super raw first impressions video because I just bought the new brow MVP from Fenty Beauty. This is her new ultra fine eyebrow pencil. And if you guys are new to my channel, I, I really love brows. And today's video, I just thought it'd be fun to demo this product for you and kind of give you my thoughts as I'm using the product. I have the shade Dark Brown and I'll be demoing this one today. I'm not wearing much makeup because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but before I go out, like the last thing I do is put on eyeliner and mascara. Just because that's the first thing on my face that starts to fade, so I wait until like the very last minute before I'm out the door to do it. I'm, please tell me I'm not weird. Anyway, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and that way I know. And of course, I hope you'll subscribe. So the Brow MVP, you get 0 0.07 ounces of product in here. That's decent and it retails for $20, which I also think is a decent price for an eyebrow pencil at Sephora. One thing that's really awesome about this launch is that as Fenty always does, they decided to include quite a broad shade range. There's 14 shades in here. Some people don't want anything too ashy. Some people need a very ashy undertone. So I like that they are really inclusive as always. That's always something that you can expect from Fenty. But I have to be honest about the one thing that made me buy this pencil is the packaging and the new brush that they have included on the back of here. I will zoom you in closer so you can see the new brush that they have released with this. It reminds me of some different Asian eyebrow pencils. I feel like they have done this before, but it is like a very, very small paddle brush. I mean, this reminds me of something like a very small Artiste brush. Incredibly dense, but it still feels pretty soft. And I've actually already run it through my brows once before, just because I had a bunch of foundation in it. And I'm telling you, this is a very, very dense brush. And I was really intrigued by it just because I don't know if anyone else is familiar with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. That spoolie comes off no matter what. I've never had a brow whiz that the spoolie did not break off. We'll see if this happens with this, but automatically off the bat, everything about this feels like it's sturdy, like it's not going to break off. I'm not sure if it will, but just first impressions, this feels way more sturdy than something like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So let's just zoom you in and we can just get to applying this to my brows. Again, I have the shade Dark Brown. So no joke guys, this is my third time trying to film this demo. So that's annoying for me. I do feel like as I keep using the product, I'm, I'm getting better with it. I'm definitely a little bit more sure about how I feel about it. So this might not necessarily be a first impressions video, at least in the demo portions. Get a load of that brush. It's incredibly, incredibly dense. As I'm brushing my hairs up, it's picking up every single hair and really smoothing them at the same time. Because this is so dense, I think if you have very sparse eyebrows, it might be like a little bit rough, but if you have coarser eyebrow hairs like I do, it's really, really nice. And it does a beautiful, really, really beautiful job pointing out every single area where you need to fill in. It really brushes the hairs up like one by one. I love the effect that it gives the brows when it's combed through. I even just on its own, to be honest. So again, I'm going in with dark brown for the third time now and just going to start filling in. If you can tell immediately, I mean, my brow is almost half filled in. This, it's weird, while swatching this out, it doesn't seem as pigmented, but then through my eyebrows, for some reason, the pigmentation really shows up and everything kind of gets filled in very quickly. Going in to the front of my eyebrow and I'm being incredibly, incredibly gentle up in the front so that I'm not ending up with like a very blocky eyebrow. And then, then just brushing everything out. So that is one eyebrow done. One thing that I'm 
noticing as I keep using the product is that because the actual formula is quite smooth, um, I do feel like this brush kind of wipes it away because it's so dense. But that's kind of the deal with regular spoolies as well. I, I don't see too much, I don't see that being a huge issue. And I really like the strong, bold effect it gives but that spoolie really keeps everything quite natural. Let's move on to my other eyebrow. This one is a little, has been a little bit more difficult to use this product in because my, this eyebrow is a little bit less manicured. I'm growing out my eyebrows right now, by the way, which is why they look a little bit crazy. And again, I'm barely, barely pressing this into the skin and I'm getting quite a bit of pigment right off the bat. Using very fine, gentle motions in here. And I feel like already this brow is nearly done. I have noticed a couple of my eyebrows come out, like a couple of my eyebrow hairs come out when I use this. Maybe I'm pressing too firmly, that is something to keep in mind. Yeah, so that's how, so that's how those look. And I think now for the third time, I'm definitely way more sure about the way that this applies to my brows in that I wish that the formula was slightly more waxy and a slightly less pigmented, but this brush and also the way my eyebrows look afterwards I really like and I feel like the color the color they got really really right and that's really hard to do with brow pencils so here's the deal here's my first impressions of this brow pencil I love like I love the after effect I I think my brows right now look really really nice I love the packaging on this like I mentioned before it feels so much sturdier than the Brow is, in my opinion, it is a bit longer. I don't mind that at all. I really, really enjoy this brush on the other end. I think it really picks up all of the hairs. It makes my hairs feel smoother. I almost feel like, you know that feeling when you use a really good hairbrush through your hair, you can just kind of feel the smoothness of your hair afterwards versus like a comb. Like this to me feels like a really nice, like boar bristle brush for your eyebrow hair. I really, really like it. As for the actual formula of the product, I think it's slightly not waxy enough for me. But that being said, the effect and how my brows look now after having used it, they look really good. I think it's gonna depend person to person. I have to play around with this one a little bit more and I definitely wanna see how long it lasts since they claim that this is a super long wearing eyebrow product. So check down below in the comments, I'll leave a comment and pin it to let you guys know how I felt like the brow pencil wore. Brush is very unique. I'm not sure if the formula itself of this brow pencil is really unique, but that's okay. I mean, it's, it's really hard to do a brow pencil that is so unique that the formula itself is super unique if I'm being honest I would I feel like I would pay for this for this little brush on the end I'm sure you could find one online if you really looked hard enough so yeah I think it's a really nice brow pencil if you're looking for something that is very smooth even pigment if you don't mind something that's slightly more pigmented than say like the Anastasia brow is I think this one could be a really really nice option hope that you guys did enjoy today's video definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful because that way I know and of course I hope you guys will subscribe and with all that I'll see you in my next one